Hey everyone, today we'll talk about how to make your app secure with virus detection workflow. If your website is accepting public file uploads, it's important to scan them for viruses so that you don't open up your site or its users to malicious attacks. For the demonstration today, we will be creating a sample virus detection workflow that will scan the uploaded files for viruses and delete them if they're infected. Now let's see, let's see how it, this can be done. First log into the dashboard, click on workflows on the left sidebar, click create new and name your workflow. Let's call it virus detection. Our first task is to scan the files for viruses. So let's add the virus detection task. So the virus detection task can be found under the intelligence tab. Click save. Next, we need to remove the file the file contains a virus. So we need to add the remove task. Here we need to specify a condition and in the condition, we have to check if the file contains a virus. In our case, if the infected element is actually true, we need to remove the file. So this basically completes the workflow setup. So here, let's quickly recap what this workflow is accomplishing. First, it's actually checking the uh, files, uploaded files for viruses, and if the file is infected, it actually removes the file. Now, before we test out this workflow, let's uh, we need to do two more things. First thing, we need to update the Picket configuration with the latest uh, workflow configuration. So in order to get the latest configuration, click on Picket configuration. Copy the Picket configuration and update the file which contains your old Picket configuration. Next, we need to set up a webhook to receive the JSON response after the workflow has finished executing. So for that, you need to go to configuration, click on webhooks. Select workflow from the drop down and click add. So, this basically completes the entire setup. Now, we need to go ahead and test out the workflow. For testing out the workflow, I'll be using JS Fiddle. In this demo, I'll be testing out two scenarios. Scenario one, I'll upload an infected file, and in scenario two, a clean file without any virus. I'll also show you how the responses to our webhook will look like in both these scenarios. Now, let's go ahead and upload a file which is infected. In a couple of seconds, I should be receiving a post re response to my webhook. Go. This is the JSON response that I just received. Now let's actually copy this JSON response into the code editor to further examine it. Here, the infected value is set to true since the file that we uploaded is infected. We also have the list of infected files returned in the form of an array here, and we can also see that the remove task has been run and it did delete the file. So it looks like the workflow logic works perfectly in scenario one. Now let's go ahead and test out scenario two, which is uploading a clean file without any virus. In a couple of seconds, I should be receiving a post response to my webhook. Here you go, this is the JSON response that I just received. Now let's actually copy this into the code editor. Here we can see that the infected value is actually set to false since the file that we uploaded is not infected. We can also observe that the remove task is absent from the workflow output. Looks like the remove task did not run, which is exactly how we intended to work. Now it looks like our workflow logic works well in second scenario as well. This is just one workflow setup. You can also listen to the webhook and perform some application lo specific logic like informing the sender if the file contains a virus, or you can quarantine the file until someone on your team reviews it. If you have any further questions setting up the workflows, please contact the support team for help. Thank you.